In the Antarctic, giant holes are suddenly appearing, leaving researchers speechless. The massive openings in the sea ice appear without warning and then disappear again. Scientists have now discovered what lies behind this mysterious phenomenon, and the explanation is even more fascinating than expected. So make sure to stay tuned, because we are diving deep into one of the most mysterious phenomena of Antarctica. Welcome, everyone. Before we travel to Antarctica, just a quick note that my channel is now really close to the 100,000 subscribers. I would be very happy if you helped me reach this goal by subscribing yourselves or recommending the channel. Subscribing is absolutely free and you will always be up to date with the latest scientific discoveries. Thank you so much, guys. Imagine you are flying over the Antarctic in a research plane. Below you, an endless white expanse of shiny sea ice stretches out, but suddenly you see something incredible, a gigantic hole in the ice as big as entire states. Exactly that is what scientists have observed, a huge ice-free area in the middle of the Antarctic winter when everything should actually be frozen. Such a phenomenon is called polynya, which comes from Russian and means open water. But what is actually behind this? And what do these gaping holes mean for the eternal ice? The history of the polynyas begins very early. Researchers first discovered such a giant hole in the sea ice of Antarctica in the 1970s. The size of this open water area in the pack ice varied, but at times it reached an area of up to $300,000 square kilometers. This is roughly the size of beautiful Italy. It was then called the Great Weddell Polynya, named after its location in the Weddell Sea. The Polynya was an extraordinary phenomenon as such large open water areas in the pack ice are rare and very difficult to predict. The Great Weddell Polynya was particularly remarkable due to its size and the durability with which it persisted amidst the winter sea ice. After that, the phenomenon disappeared for decades. The reason for the disappearance and the rare reappearance is quite complex and the scientists are not entirely sure what causes it. Because the influence of ocean currents, climate fluctuations, and possibly also climate change plays a role here. In 2016, the phenomenon re-emerged. And a year later, in 2017, another massive polynya opened, once again sparking the interest of scientists. First, let's clarify how such mysterious holes in the ice are created. The answer leads us to a hidden underwater mountain called Maud Rise. This large submarine elevation in the southern Atlantic extends from the seafloor of Antarctica to about 1,600 meters below the water surface. Maud Rise influences deep circulation because currents hit the elevation and cause warm salty water from deeper layers to rise to the surface. This process can melt the sea ice from below and contribute to the formation of open water areas amidst the ice. The heat released by this upwelling prevents the reformation of sea ice and can then support the formation and stability of a polynya. Meltwater is therefore an important geological and oceanographic factor that is also of great interest to climate researchers. In other words, meltwater acts like a kind of natural mixer when the cold ocean currents meet the mountain are pushed upwards and mixed with the warmer, deeper water. This mixing then brings heat to the surface, which melts the ice from below. So far so simple, but now it gets complex. This is because researchers have found that several factors have to come together for a polynya to form. It's like a bit of a recipe. Only when all the ingredients are right does the dish succeed. The first important ingredient is salty water. In the years leading up to 2017, more and more saline water accumulated over the mod rise. This may not sound spectacular at first, but it is very important. The saltier the water, the heavier it is and the easier it is for it to sink downwards, pushing warmer water upwards. Professor Fabien Roquet from the University of Gothenburg explains this process as follows. The rise of the water through Ekman transport helps to explain how the sea ice could melt. But if the sea ice melts, this leads to a freshening of the surface water, which in turn should stop the mixing. So there must be another process at work for the polynia to persist. Additional salt must be introduced from somewhere. The second ingredient is the winds over Antarctica. Since mid-2015, the eastern winds in the region have been significantly strengthening. These winds then transport the salty water away from the underwater mountain toward the north. And right there, on the northern flank of Mordreis, the polynya opens up. The real star of the show is the so-called Ekman transport. This physical effect is quite fascinating. It is an oceanographic process that describes how the movement of water at the surface is influenced by the wind, affecting the underlying water layers. 
When the wind blows over the surface of the sea, it sets the water in motion. However, this movement is influenced by the Coriolis effect. You may remember from physics class that the Earth's rotation causes a deflection. In the northern hemisphere, the deflection is to the right. In the southern hemisphere, it is to the left. This creates what is known as an Ekman spiral, and the uppermost layer of water moves in a certain direction due to the wind but is deflected sideways by the Coriolis force. In the deeper water layers, the current slows down but is also deflected by the Coriolis force, so that the direction of movement rotates further with each deeper layer. Overall, this results in a spiral water movement. The Ekman spiral. The net effect of Ekman transport is that water is, on average, transported at an angle of about 90 degrees to the direction of the wind. In the northern hemisphere it moves to the right, and in the southern hemisphere it moves to the left. This process is particularly important in coastal regions and at geological elevations such as the Maud Rise, where it can promote the phenomenon of upwelling. In this process, cold nutrient-rich deep water flows to the surface, which is of considerable importance for the marine ecosystem as well as for oceanic and climatic currents. The study shows that this process was absolutely crucial for the formation of the Polynya. The researchers were able to show that the Ekman transport ensured that the salt Salty water ended up in exactly the right place. Especially exciting, the scientists have found that the preparations for Polynia began years in advance. Starting in 2013, salt water began to accumulate over the Maud Rise. At the same time, the Weddell Gaia, a large ocean current in the region, intensified, and this combination created the perfect conditions for what happened in 2016. But how did the researchers actually figure it all out? Here comes one of the coolest parts of the whole story. They turned seals into research assistants. No kidding, the scientists equipped seals with special sensors that collected data on temperature and salinity during their dives. It's convenient when you can outsource the work so easily and the seals didn't want minimum wage either. Let me know in the comments what we should call this science seal. I'm very curious to hear your suggestions. Yes, and these animal helpers provided valuable insights into the marine conditions that would have been nearly impossible to obtain otherwise. And the study also shows that Polynia has a significant influence on ocean circulation. When a hole like this opens up in the ice, the warmth of the ocean is released directly into the freezing Antarctic air. It's like opening the window in the middle of winter and letting the warm air from the heater float out only on a global scale. This heat release can even affect global ocean currents. Interestingly, the data from the study show that the Polynesia did not simply arise by chance in 2017. The Maud Rise Polynesia is not the only one of its kind, by the way. There are regular openings in the ice in other parts of the Antarctic as well. However, most of them form near the coast where strong fall winds blow the ice away from the land. What makes the Maud Rise Polynesia special is that it emerged in the middle of the open ocean like a mysterious window into the depths of the southern ocean. What particularly surprised the researchers was that after the Polynya of 2017, the water under the ice remained warmer than normal for a long time. The study shows that the effects of such events can still be felt years later. This makes it clear how important it is to understand these phenomena as they could be a significant factor in the global climate system. Thus, the discovery once again shows how complex and fascinating our planet is. Sometimes it takes an underwater mountain, salty water, special winds, and the Earth's rotation to explain a natural phenomenon. Not to forget the seals. And who knows, maybe Antarctica has even more such secrets in store. I will, of course, keep you updated on all future discoveries in Antarctica. So feel free to subscribe to my channel now. But let's move from the Earth to the universe. Anyone looking up at the night sky in the next few days or weeks could witness a spectacular event. The star T Coronae Borealis will soon light up as a bright nova and be visible to the naked eye. You can find out exactly what is behind it and where to look for it in the sky in the video in the top right hand corner. Be sure to click on it and if you want to support the channel and are enthusiastic about science, feel free to click on the other videos here on the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.